The plant makes glucose in the leaves via a process called photosynthesis. The plant then needs to transport the glucose to other parts of the plant that can't photosynthesize, so they can use it for aerobic respiration. The roots are underground, so there is almost no light there, and the root hair cells, for example, don't have chloroplasts because it would be a waste. Remember, root hair cells need glucose for aerobic respiration to drive active transport. The plant also needs to convert glucose into starch to store energy. And starch is stored in more places than the leaf. Potato plants, for example, send a lot of glucose into the tube underground where it is converted to starch. However, the evidence suggests that in most plants, the glucose is converted into sucrose before it enters the phloem. We often refer to where the sucrose is made as the source which is the leaf, of course, and what receives the sucrose as the sink. The scientific term for the transportation of sucrose via the phloem is called translocation. Farmers who grow crops will be very aware that without healthy soil, their crops will suffer. Farmers use fertilizer to add important minerals to the soil because plants need these minerals to build the complex molecules they need to survive. MPK fertilizers are used by farmers and gardeners because they contain nitrates, phosphates and potassium compounds, hence the name NPK. Note, these are the elemental symbols for nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. Plants use nitrates to make amino acids for protein production. These are essential for cell growth. Phosphates are important because phosphorus is needed to make DNA and cell membranes. Potassium is needed for the enzymes involved in respiration and photosynthesis. You must learn what happens to a plant if they lack any of these three minerals. If a plant does not get enough nitrates, then this results in poor growth in general. If a plant does not get enough phosphates, then this results in poor root growth. If a plant does not get enough potassium, then this results in the leaves yellowing. 